Hello future scientists! Today we will still talk about unit to ourselves, sense of smell and sense of taste. Our learning objective is to learn about the sense of smell and the sense of taste. We will explore the importance of nose as we use for the sense of smell and our tongue when we use for the sense of taste. In this lesson, we will learn about nose and the sense of smell which is made possible because the nose and brain work together. When we breathe in, tiny particles enter the nose. At the back of the nose are tiny hairs which send messages to the brain. The brain works out what the smell is, like when you smell this flower. The nose is also important because it is one way that humans take air in and out of the lungs. Our sense of smell is one way that humans and other animals find out about the world. It includes sensing dangers such as smoke. We use our nose to smell things. Other animals also use their nose to smell. The nose has two holes called nostrils. Now if you could look at these pictures of these animals. Now we are going to match the correct nose of these animals. And these are the names below. So let's start. Letter A, can you see the color of this animal? So from which nose is this one? Now, look at this picture of animals, cat. <clears throat> All right, cat. <clears throat> Match the correct nose to each animal's name below. So these are the names. So let's start with letter A. Just look at the color and the shape of the nose. That is the nose of the panda, okay? How about on letter B? Can you see uh, the nose? The nostrils, okay, are very big. So that is the nose of what okay the horse okay how about letter c i'm sure you're familiar with letter c okay that is our nose the human nose for letter e can you see this that is the rabbit's nose how about this one it has a long tusk okay that is the elephant's nose and for sure you know also this can you see the spots okay that is the giraffe's nose Watch this video on the YouTube, The Star Knows Me. And let's try to answer, where does it live? And why does it only have small eyes? And which senses do you think it uses the most? We like some smells. We do not like other smells. Our sense of smell helps to keep us safe. We can smell food that has gone bad. And if we were to eat bad food, it would make us ill. We can smell smoke from a fire. In this activity, we will develop knowledge about uh, the nose and the sense of smell, which is made possible because the nose and brain work together. Let's think for some things that you like to smell and things that you do not like to smell. You will draw pictures of things here that you like to smell and here that you do not like to smell at all. Most of us like smells such as cakes, baking, Stinky sack smells horrible. Of course, nobody wants to smell that or even the rotten rot. But look at this picture of a durian fruit. This fruit smells horrible, but it tastes good. I will show you some pictures of fruits and try and imagine how is the smell of each fruit. And then in this column, you will write what fruit can you smell. Then here, do you like the smell or not? So just write yes or no. In your workbook page 28, look at the pictograph so we will find out which fruit has a nice smell. This pictograph shows the smells that some stage 1 learners like. We have here the roses, the apples, lemons, and cookies. Now, on letter A, how many learners like cookies? So you're going to count. How about letter B? Which smell did one learner like? How many learners like roses? And did more learners like roses or apples? Just look on the pictograph and this you can answer the questions. For your home, draw two things that you can smell inside your house. Here, put it in here. And letter B, draw two things that you can smell outdoors. Now you will learn about the sense of taste. We sense different tastes. If you look at your tongue in a mirror, you will see little bumps. These are taste buds. Taste buds help us to taste foods that are sweet, salty, or sour. These are some examples of sweet food, sour food, and salty food, which you can find all of this at your home. You found out that taste buds 
help us to taste foods that are sweet, sour, or so you know that we also use our nose to taste? Yes, your sense of smell helps you to taste the things you eat. The tongue and brain detect taste, but without the nose and sense of smell, we would not be able to taste most things that we eat. Even though the senses of taste and smell are separate, they work together so that we can taste food. As we breathe in the smell of the food, the nose and tongue work together to send signals to the brain, which works out what you are tasting. Most people who have a cold complain that they cannot taste the flavors of their food. This is because their noses are blocked from the cold and they are unable to breathe in the smells properly. Workbook page 29, Lev has some questions to ask his partner ab about taste. Like, what is your favorite taste? What taste do you like that is sour? Which taste do you like more? An apple or a pear? Ask three of your own questions. Write each question in a speech bubble below. So this is the first question. What is your favorite taste? The second question. What taste do you like that is sour? And question number three. Which taste do you like more? An apple or pear? You can also write your own questions in here. Write the answers below in number two. Now, what have you learned from our lesson today? Now, I am going to challenge you. Next time you eat some food, think about the taste. Is it sweet, sour, or salty? Have a nice day.